Hi everybody, welcome to the Page Family Homestead. My name is Peggy. I'm going to keep this kind of short, I hope. Um, my intent is to welcome all the creators or anybody who has videos going up. Um, let's do some dehydrating. Let's do a collaboration. Everybody, uh, we, there's a lot of people who already dehydrate, uh, probably a lot more than we all do. However, there's a lot of new people dehydrating. What with, you know, the situation, food is important to save. So every Thursday, I'm going to be putting up a video, hashtag Let's Dehydrate, and then my video title. If you all do it, that way I can search on Thursday morning, see who's got their video up, or whenever you let me know it's up, whip it into the Let's Dehydrate playlist so that your uh, subscribers, my subscribers, everybody's subscribers hits that playlist and visits everybody. We make new friends. We teach, we educate, we learn from each other. I am by far not an expert at this. What initiated this was I have been answering text messages, um, private messages on Messenger, messages on our channel, comments, so many questions about dehydrating and people who have shown interest and are actually ordered or have ordered and expecting them. So let's have fun together. So. I'm not saying that the dehydrator I'm using, oh by the way, get your coffee and sippy tea for this one, I did. <laughs> I'm not saying the dehydrator okay. I use is the best <laughs> one. It's the best one for me. I would love for anybody with different dehydrators to post a little this is my dehydrator intro and get started on this as well at hashtag let's dehydrate. Because it gives new people coming an opportunity to hear personal experiences, not something from the manufacturer. So, we ordered this from Amazon. Um, we, were, we were dehydrating, oh gosh, for years and years and years. I couldn't see the value of spending money on something uh, substantial of any kind, like over $50 to me was like, oh, are you kidding? Uh, because all I thought it could do was like jerky and fruit and I couldn't justify the cost so I just bought a quick $35 one from Walmart you know you little square one with a hole in the middle and the fan was at the bottom and plug it in and it's a blow dryer so I wasn't getting the nutritional value I wasn't impressed with dehydrating what turned me on to dehydrating was a very dear woman that I grown to love over the years. Her name is Bev Wolfie from Our Half Acre Homestead. She is a dehydrating, dehydrating guru. She will show you why you need to blanch. She explains so much. It, I thought, okay, look, she's doing vegetables. She's doing meat. She's doing... Now I need a dehydrator because it was something more than just vegetables and jerky. So I got what she had because I trusted her. I developed a rapport with her. And I will back Nesco up 100%. Why? Because I have the experience with it now. So since 2018, I ordered, I was going to get an Excalibur. And back in 2018, the Excaliburs, um, they were quite loud. They were quite pricey. I mean, Andy bought me two of these for the for under with extra inserts for under the price of the Excalibur. However, and I heard they were really loud. People were keeping them in their garage. And I thought, I, I don't want that. So I bought two of these. I'm glad I did. However, I hear now Excalibur is quieter. So and their prices have come down. So again, comparative shopping to your needs. <coughs> I got this one. Mine is, I wrote it down here. I just went to Amazon and wrote down what it was. Nesco, F as in Frank, D as in David, dash, 75, A for Apple. You can tell I'm not military. It was a 600 watt food dehydrator. I also ordered extra Nesco LSS 2-6 fruit roll sheets. So you can see here on the Nesco, this is the blow motor. It's at the top. So as things dehydrate and moisture comes out of the food, it's going into the drip tray on the bottom. Not burning out the motor on the bottom. Some of them are on the bottom. Some of them may have a guard. I don't know. I don't have one. Um, 
this I like if you want to come in sweetie it shows you it like the reason we dehydrate is we want to collect the nutritional value out of our foods right we don't want to dehydrate at the wrong temperatures and then we've, we're left with garbage oh good you got food in the jar what value is it so for fruits and veggies 135 just take our little dial and turn it to 135 nuts and seeds herbs and spices I don't have great luck with my herbs I do better um, oh. you can see here for herbs and spices the temperature is very low I don't have a lot of luck with my dehydrators for herbs I don't know it seems like it takes forever I've got a hot window I just hang them like in the olden days and I do them that way to be honest jerky over here 160 meats 160 of course it's meat duh and fish 160 so we would just turn it up or turn it down depending on what we are doing if we're doing a vegetable wrapped in meat like we will get into for dog treats we're going to treat it as a meat temperature always go with the temperature that requires the hottest <coughs> heat okay so now we can go back here so we have our fruit trays these are non-stick I love them. You just take a cloth, no scratchies required, and it just let it soak for five minutes. It just falls off. And you can see the lip on here. So you can put liquid in here. I've done eggs. I'll never do them again. I didn't feel safe. It doesn't mean they're not. It just means I wasn't comfortable. Remember, my kitchen, my rules, your kitchen, your rules. I do a lot of tomato sauces. I can them. Uh, so when I squeeze the life out of the tomato to get my sauce, there's that gunk left over. Seeds, skin, heavy, heavy pulp. Right on here, flattened out. And what I do is I dehydrate it, grind it, and now I have tomato powder. No waste. I was throwing that stuff away because we didn't have chickens. It would go to the chickens otherwise, right? So now I grind it. I add water to the thickness I want, or spice it as I want. I've got pizza sauce. I've got tomato paste. Don't need to buy it. I've got what it. What about soup? Tomato, would it make a paste yes, tomato soup? Yes, we have actually. Okay. Um, it takes some work, but not a lot. It's food, right? And its nutritional value is still in here. So, and of course, you can use them for fruit roll-ups, which I've never done. These, tr these little ones here. These are the non-stick, okay? So, why do you need them? Well, some of the items might be too, once they dehydrate, would be too small, and they will fit through here, right? And they'd all fall in, and it's a pain in the butt. Like when I do onions, they go on one of these. They don't oh, fall through. Okay. You just take it, stick your funnel in a jar and do this, or do it on parchment paper and make a funnel with that and put it in. I mean, it's just so easy. So some of them come with kits that you'll find <coughs> you get so many <coughs> roll-up trays with it and so many non-stick trays with it. Um, a lot of people with the square ones will use, will order these from the Nesco because I don't think you can get these roll-up trays for the square. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, I don't have one. Back in the day, they didn't. So I've noticed a lot of my friends with the Excalibur order these and just slide them in onto their square tray. That way they can do the um, more liquidy dehydrating, right? And they're not left out. So there's a lot to, I don't have a timer on mine. I am not knocking timers, don't have one. However, it's been my experience in life, the more gadgets something has, the more something can go wrong. I'm not going to guarantee that when I put my potatoes in here that they're going to be done between five and six hours. How thick are my, is my product? Was it hot when it went in? All these make, make a difference. What's the weather like outside? What's the temperature? Rainy day? Oh yeah, you're going to be dehydrating a long time. Now ovens, new ovens, my cousin Stephen has one of those ovens, lucky bum, where he can dehydrate in the oven. The temperatures go down low enough. Oh, I would love that for jerky. Get it all done at once, yeah, right? Really. But they use a lot of hydro to do what this can do for fractions of the energy cost. But they're still handy, right? There's that fine line, good for some, not for the other. Um, don't want a timer because I can't set it for six hours and say, Are you done? 
<laughs> I just check it. The only drawback to this opposed to an Excalibur, an Excalibur I believe you do not need to rotate your trays. Oops, elbow. This you do. If you're using more than four trays, they suggest for the best results to switch your trays up. And all that involves is, you got it, leapfrog. So, halfway through, depending on what it is, maybe every so many hours, again, depending on what it is. If I see some trays are cooking up faster than others, I'll rotate the slow ones more to the top. Not a big deal. It's not hard. Um, I have 10 trays. As you can see, I've got another dehydrator back here. What I want to do is get 10 more trays so that I can run both machines fully loaded. It can mm -hmm. handle it. And man with the gardens that my husband puts in the yards and the <coughs> produce that I'm canning with three canners and dehydrating with the 10 trays, I need 20. So there will be that purchase. So what can you dehydrate? What can't we dehydrate? I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to. I've done some dog treats. I want to do the one, uh, it was on Linda's pantry. It's a carrot stick and you wrap it in thin strips of chicken breast and you just set them on here and dehydrate. Oh my goodness, they would go crazy over those. So we'll be doing some of those, the do's and don'ts of it as well. And there's other dog foods. Christmas oranges. Um, how good am I at labeling in my pantry? I shouldn't show you this. I have to. Meatloaf 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Long gone. <laughs> yes, yeah, not meatloaf. See, if it is, I wouldn't need it. Look at it. <laughs> These are Christmas oranges. And I had ground up enough citrus powder. I didn't need any more. And I thought, well, I might need it down the road. So I just dehydrated the skins without... The next step which would be grinding which would make my citrus powder oh it's heaven it's a smell of heaven in your baked goods and cookies and cakes and loaves and mm, all kinds of goodies um carrots andy oh came home with 30 pounds of carrots our first year that we had our dehydrators and so yeah here we have 2018 carrots they look like demons' baby teeth. And yet when you hydrate them, you have a soup. Dehydrated quarantine soup in the playlist. Go look at all the veggies. It's quarantine yeah, soup. <laughs> um, go look in the playlist. Go look at that soup. This is what the carrots were that went in there. Right? Wow. And what shocked Andy, not me because I sneak them in all the time, but here's our green and yellow green beans from the garden. We've got seven jars of these. Yeah. Um, Andy smoked some jalapeno peppers. It's coming. Our friends rave about this stuff. They're big borrowing and stealing it if we let them. Only I hide things. <laughs> so he, he smoked his jalapeno peppers and then brought them in and dehydrated them. And then he ground them because I can't. And oh my word. This is 2019 smoked jalapeno peppers with garlic powder, we dehydrated, onion powder, we dehydrated, and all mixed together. And you want to, I wish, I wish I wasn't allergic to jalapenos. It smells so good. I got to get you to do some sweet peppers oh, yeah. smoked so that I can put it on foods so we can both enjoy. Hey. Got to do some sweet peppers so that we can smoke them and dehydrate them for extra like for everyday foods yeah. right because this is a barbecue must this is um here the oranges this was sealed back in 2018 still sealed Good. right um a lot of these aren't sealed because i'm in and out of them all the time i only seal the ones i don't think i'm going to use for long periods of time and i also keep them in my pantry it's not my pantry's not dark there's a light in it but it's not on all the time and I keep it on a dark wall so that the light doesn't come into the foods. We just did these by the way, the chips yeah. last video. Uh, cucumber. Leek is not leek. Zucchini. Zucchini is Those the best. zucchini chips Put some are too Parmesan cheese on it. Oh, they are to die, die for. for. Oh, yeah. It's like Put the bowl next to me on the couch, and then it inches towards him, and then it inches. Yeah, we need two bowls. I've got a question. Yeah. Can you dehydrate milk to a powder milk? 
I'm a rebel canner and a rebel dehydrator. I think you can. However, I personally won't. I do believe that when they make their milk powder, they're doing it with the uh, flash, not flash frozen. What's that flash other freeze, one? Yeah. Uh, I want one, but I can't justify it. You told me you'd buy me one. I said I can't justify the cost yet. Yeah. Freeze dried, not freeze dried. Freeze -dried Is it freeze dried? Yes. Freeze dried, yes. yeah. So. No, I'm not going to. I can my milk, so we're not going to go without. Can it be done? That's up to you. Your kitchen, your rules, but just research. Don't be stupid, okay? Research. Um, not saying that doing it is stupid. I'm just, there's a lot of weird things out there. Just find one you like, check about eight more. See if that's possible. Go to a rebel dehydrating group. Ask questions. Educate yourself before you put it in your pantry. Feel comfortable before you put it in your pantry. When in doubt, throw it out. Um, the peppers we did the other day, uh, green beans, this garden parsley. Still got a little bit from 2019. Uh, here we have, oh, green pepper and jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I can't because of the jalapeno. But here's a beautiful one. He's dehydrated. Um, we've got dill from the garden. A lot of it's packed. My favorite go-to, I had seven quarts. Mm -hmm. This is it, Andy. That's it? That's all we got. Wow. This is it. When it's gone, it's gone. And I throw this <clears throat> stuff in. Good thing we're coming into everything. the growing season. I know. <laughs> but here's the garden leeks. And I, oh, I just love these. And they taste like I just picked them and used them. Right? Uh I hit these on you and we pulled them out for another recipe and I Blue hit them berries. again. Yeah. yeah. Dehydrated. You'll be using these for your recipe. Or um, muffins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Andy bought frozen soup beans to add to your soups. I don't like things in my freezer if I don't have to because I fill it too much and then I don't have room for things. So I dehydrated yeah. them and <clears throat> I just take a handful of these out and throw them in the soup or in the crock pot, right? Um, anything that's in the frozen food section, the vegetables, you don't have to blanch them. Pour them out on your tray and dehydrate them. So it's not eating up all the valuable space. Uh, remember the other video I said I have a quart of, of flaked spinach? I lied, I only have half a quart. So I'm gonna have to start filling that again. Again, I would be rotating. Um, here is a kale, bok chai, dandelion and spinach blend I've started. It's only ha it only has a very little bit of the dandelion and the greens in it. Don't do it. Unless I did it wrong. Maybe you know something I don't. Please help me. Um, my dandelion greens, when I dehydrated them, were very bitter. Thank goodness there's not a lot in there so it didn't ruin the whole thing. But um, I'm working on getting a whole bunch of vegetables uh, I'm going to do cabbage this week as well and make a new powder because I always supply it to our children's families because, you know, I don't want my vegetables. Oh, that's okay, dear. Just eat. They're getting vegetables. They just don't know it. <laughs> I love when kids are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, our celery. But This is a yep. whole head plus two stalks wow. of celery. Look at that. So you don't so need a lot when you put it in. This much in the fridge, right? If you're going to use it for celeries or powders, and it's this much if you grind it. Sure. Um, I like to leave it full. I don't think I have any here. Like I said, we're <clears> half packed. Um, what's this one? That's the bok choy. And the beans, the spinach. Yeah, that's all I've got out here right now. But full production, when we're going, these machines... Harvest time, the reason I need 10 more trays, they're going 24-7. He has a knip. Unplug them at night. Okay. Sneak out. I don't always unplug them. If I know they're safe, they're safe. But if you have a worry wart in the house, you can unplug them and put them back on in the morning. I wouldn't advise it, but you got to do what you got to do. So, I'm hoping that you guys are interested. Uh, show up. Dehydrate marshmallows. The kids would love them. So do the husband kids. Um, it turns them into those little lucky charm things. Great treats for the kids. Or in the hot chocolate as we enter summer. <laughs>
I'd like to do my lemons, my limes, my orange slices for this summer because we make sun sun baked or uh, yeah sun baked sweet tea. Yeah. And I throw a couple of those dehydrated into the pitcher, and oh yeah, they're good. So I mean, there's no limit, really. We can dehydrate meat. Oh, to go meals for you people that uh, hike or hunt for the hunting camp. Uh, we're going to be doing so, showing you some ready pack meals as well. Um, stay tuned. Join us. Hashtag Let's Dehydrate. I'll throw it all in one big playlist. Let's learn from each other. Okay, so I hope I kept it short enough. I hope I was detailed enough. This is why I love my dehydrator. If, uh, what's that other big one I just said? Excalibur. There. Excalibur, if you would like me to brag about your machine, send me one. Let me try it out. <laughs> what the heck? Can't hurt. I have over a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Send me a big machine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sweet? We can dream. <laughs> but I don't know if I'd sell it or not because I do love my Nesco. So anyway, this is Peggy signing out. Looking forward to hashtag let's dehydrate. Um, if you don't have your machine and you get one, do the unveiling. Let's see you get excited about your new hobby because that's what it's going to be. And start putting the videos out, what you're doing, and let's do it together. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Make your comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And for those of you that are returning, thank you. Those who are new, welcome. Over and out.